My name is Lewis. Um, I have been sort of involved with media for since I was an A level student myself. I love film, I've always loved film. Um, and then uh, when I went to college, when I was 16, uh, I was given the opportunity to study media studies and that sort of developed this passion. And then I went to um, York St. John University and I did uh, film and media studies there. And I've sort of progressed through my career doing, I've done a master's in film and I'm now currently doing a PhD in film studies as well. So I always describe to people who are interested in the course um, that film studies is a lot like English literature, but instead of studying books and uh, texts, you watch films and you read films and you see how you know you develop your skills and how to infer what a film is meaning, looking at the context, the um, you know, how it was made, why the director made that certain choice, um, developing your own analytical skill set, um, how to, which helps you read the digital world around us really. Um, and it's just a really nice way of looking at something that's been made um, through sort of film and it's really interesting and really fun. The course itself is split up into uh, three parts. You've got the first part, which is called Varieties um, of Film and Filmmaking, which is worth 35% of the qualification. And in that you study three sections, um, and those go from like classical Hollywood to um, American cinema post-2005 and British cinema post-1995. Um, so we look at films like This Is England, um, Francis Ha, uh, Casablanca, um, Vertigo, Do the Right Thing, those types of films. Then in the second year, um, they look at a component called um, Global Filmmaking Perspectives. And that's got four sections, so documentary film, silent cinema, experimental film, and foreign cinema as well. So look at like Pan's Labyrinth, City of God, there's the documentary about Amy Winehouse, those types of things. And then 30% of the qualification is coursework, so they get to make a film, like a nice short film. Um, using all those elements that they've developed, um, reading films, um, you know, theoretically, taking those skills and thinking, right, well, what might make a good short film? I'll take this element here and I'll take that element there and we'll produce something really great. So typically students who study film studies, they've gone to university and they have a the world's their oyster really you know they, they develop these critical and analytical skill sets which open the world for them at university so they can study anything from um you know more media studies more film studies to marketing journalism um like law business like really you know you're the really the world's your oyster when you've got you know the, those sort of key analyt analytical tools there's loads of different you know careers that you can choose when i first um, studied media studies at college, um, you know, first got into it, I never expected I'd be a teacher. So that's one of the career, you know, career paths, which is great. Um, I'm using my love of film to teach others and it's really great. But other, generally, you know, the film industry, um, you know, such as um, directing, producing, filmmaking, um, but then there's other jobs as well that you don't really think about. So storyboarding, script writing, designing sets, um, props, costumes, all those types of things. So the summer prep work consists mainly of looking at two clips from films that we study on the course. So that is This Is England and Fish Tank, some great British cinema um, films there. Um, that we study toward the back end of the first year. So the task is mainly to watch those clips, analyze them, make notes on them. There's some work to do with vocabulary and key subject specific terminology. Um, and it's just generally getting to grips with those types of films and how you're gonna be reading them and talking about them and writing about them. 